What's up guys, for today's video, I'm gonna prove the Earth is round. Yes, you heard me correctly. I'm gonna prove the Earth has a curvature and I'm gonna do it using photography. You see, a lot of times I get these flat earthers that'll leave messages on my YouTube channel about you know the Earth being flat and it's typically inaccurate and wrong information that's easily debunked. See, the problem with flat earthers is lazy thinking. They listen to other YouTube videos without actually going out and doing the research themselves. So, you know, it's really annoying that people just completely ignore the scientific method, which basically requires observation, measurements, and experiments to be done, and that can be replicated. So I'm going to do an experiment today that anybody could do, and it's going to prove that the Earth has a curvature. Okay, so I just want to give you guys a quick overview of what my test is going to entail. Um, right over here is Sandy Hook, New Jersey, and I'm going to be taking pictures with a telephoto lens across the ocean to Far Rockaway, New York. Now there's an apartment complex called Ocean Park, and let me just go in 3D view. Now from the information I can gather online, these buildings are 231 feet tall, and from you know this measurement right here direct line of sight is about 16 and a half miles from New Jersey across the ocean so our goal is to take pictures and video from Sandy Hook New Jersey and if the earth is flat there should be no reason why I wouldn't be able to capture um, the sand and the houses and you know all this other stuff that's surrounding these apartment complexes but if the earth is round I should only get the you know about half of the apartment complex uh, maybe two-thirds of it depending on the distance and um, actually there's a lot of tall buildings along this whole area so you probably will see more uh, apartment complexes not just this particular set right here when we go to do our experiment what's up guys I'm heading to Far Rockaway Beach in New York so I could get the elevation of the ground that the apartment complexes are sitting on we have to add this into the equation and I'll explain it a little bit further as this video progresses so I'll see you there in a little bit What's up guys, I'm at Far Rockaway Beach in New York and I'm going to use the apartment complex behind me to help debunk Flat Earth. Now this is the Ocean Park apartment complex and it is a 26 story apartment that's a little over 200 feet tall. But I want to come here and check out the elevation of the ground. So I use my GPS and it fluctuates between 10 to 20 feet above sea level. So that's another number that we have to take in consideration when we do the math of figuring out the curvature and how much of these buildings will actually be visible um, since we are on a globe. Now, if we're on a flat earth, there should be no problem that all this building right here should be visible when photographing it 15 to 17 miles away in Sandy Hook, New Jersey. So we're gonna do the test and find out what the results are. Stay tuned.
All right, so here we are at Sandy Hook, New Jersey. I'm at parking lot E for those that are wondering. And we're about 15 to 17 miles away from the apartment complex I was filming earlier this morning. Now I'm gonna be using my Nikon D810, a 600 millimeter lens and a 1.4 teleconverter to try and see across that body of water to the other side. Now, if it is a flat earth, one would expect to see the same height that we are here. So if I'm about 10 feet above sea level because of the five foot of ground and about a five foot height of my tripod, I should be able to see 10 feet above sea level on the other side, 17 miles away. Now, all these numbers are important because when we use them for the curved earth, you're gonna realize what exactly is happening with the fall off and why I can only see two thirds of the buildings when I show you the pictures and video that I captured with this camera on my computer. Okay, so I got the pictures and the video that I needed and I'm gonna show you that information shortly. But first, I just wanna tell you guys why I am here and why I went all the way over there and that's because of the scientific method. I feel like a lot of people these days watch a YouTube video and they take it as gospel. It's 100% truth, they don't question it or anything like that, but you should question everything. You should go out and research yourself and um, hopefully by doing this experiment, others will see that the world is a globe and that they could actually come out here and do exactly what I'm doing to test and prove it themselves. Um, that's the whole point of the scientific method. You formulate an idea and then you go out and test and observe that idea and then others have to go out and repeat it and that's how you know that's how science works that's how we learn new things so challenge yourselves to not trust everything all the time heck don't even trust me come out and do this yourself and you'll see but hopefully you learned something from this video whether you agree with me or not that's okay uh, i just want you to get out and test these ideas for yourself okay let's jump back to my computer now Thanks to ancient Greeks like Pythagoras and a bunch of other guys with names I can't pronounce, <laughs> they, uh, they helped figure out the Earth's curvature thousands of years ago, and we actually have formulas to calculate the Earth's curvature. And what's great is we now have calculators online that makes life even easier for people that suck at math like I do. And if I put in my eye height, which is 10 feet roughly, because I stand 5 foot 10, and I was probably around 5 feet above sea level when I was taking those photos, and then I put in the target distance, which was 16 and a half miles away to that apartment complex, I get the target hidden height. Now this hidden height is the part that I can't see from Sandy Hook, New Jersey. And I'm gonna show you the video and pictures right now of what I'm talking about. Okay, so you saw the video. Now here's a still image from the same spot of the apartment complex. And if I zoom in as much as I could go with Lightroom, which is 11 to one, um, I do not see any ground visible along this image. Uh, it almost looks like I have a mirage here or refraction, which is another variable that needs to be taken into consideration when doing tests like this and dealing with the horizon and uh, the way light bends and refracts. Um, it's beyond my scope of field, so do your research about that. Now, the formula for the curved earth said that 106 feet would not be visible, and um, this building's 231 feet, so that leaves us with 125 feet. But you also have to add in the fact that this is uh, you know, above sea level, so this is anywhere between 10 to 20 feet above sea level, so it could be 135 to 145 feet a visible area right here. So all these variables are very important to take in consideration and I feel like many flat earthers usually, you know, whether they do it because of ignorance or just forgetfulness, but they have to include all these things and a lot of times they don't. So, um, you know, I hate, hate to break it to you guys, but the earth is not flat. I am not a round earth shill. I don't work for NASA, so I have, I'm not getting paid for any of this other than, you know, what I make on YouTube, which isn't much. So, uh, hopefully you guys will expand your mind a little bit and do a little more due diligence when you make, you know, outrageous claims. 
The Earth was proven round way before NASA even existed by uh, people that are much smarter than you and I. So I'm not trying to be insulting. I'm just trying to put the facts out there. And hopefully this will kind of open your eyes a little bit more. So that about wraps it up. Enjoy living on a spinning ball, guys. Later.